Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. I'm outside in my backyard. It's a beautiful day. It's noisy, you know, cars passing by. You may hear some birds chirping, all that good stuff. But uh, nevertheless, we are here. And I wanted to talk to you all about this topic. Don't bait me. Don't bait me. And I have been talking with my husband about this, so I said, well, this will, will be a great topic to talk about for this Wild Wednesday. And so what I mean by don't bait me, sometimes people give you enough just to try to see how much you can hold on to, just to see how much they can pull you or lure you into believing how they believe, thinking the way they think, doing what they do. They'll, they'll bait you. They'll, they'll try to hook you. You know, and, and sometimes uh, what is happening is this. They are manipulative. They're very manipulative. They're very deceptive. They are um, thinking about themselves, very selfish in nature. And some of them are maybe even jealous of you. And the reason why they're trying to bait you is because they're trying to convince you of a thing and draw you and entice you to do whatever it, it, whatever it is they want you to do. Bottom line. So you should have in your mind, I'm not allowing anybody to bait me. Because if I allow you to bait me, then I will allow you to control how I think, what I do, and my actions. I'm not going to allow you to bait me. Matter of fact, I'm going to do my research. I'm going to figure you out. I'm trying to figure out what is it that you're trying to sell me. What is it that you're trying to convince me of? If it's not true, if I can't fact check you, if I can't figure out where what your motive is and where you're going with what you're doing and what you're saying, then I'm not convinced. I'm not thoroughly convinced and I'm not going to follow you. Matter of fact, you can throw on how many baits out there. I am not going to be hooked by your bait. You are not going to hook me. Uh, you know, old school people, they were very wise. They were very, they were the type of individuals they, they knew. <laughs> they knew people who were con artists. They knew people who were very manipulative. They knew people who were very deceptive, cunning, you know, and were just good at what they do. Jokesters, you know, and uh, filibusters, you know, they like to filibust. And there are people out here that talk so smooth that it sounds truthful. I mean, it, they talk so smooth, smooth talkers. You got to be aware of those. You have to be aware of those people who talk fast and smooth and they don't have any pauses in their speech. <laughs> you got, you, there, there's something fishy about that. There should be something fishy. Some alarms should go off in your head like, okay, radar, radar, do, 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 something going on. Something ain't right with this person. Something's not right about what they say yet. Something's not right about their actions, how they live in. You want to really know a person, you get to know a person. You know them by their fruit. Not what they say, their actions. Because actions speak louder than words, okay? You can give me a bunch of words, but if your actions don't uh, portray the very words coming out of, your, out of your mouth, then we know that you're a counterfeit. We know that you are a fraud. We know that you are up to no good. Matter of fact, what is your business? What, what is it that you want from me? What, what is it that you're trying to convince me of? What is it that you're trying to pull me into to cause me to get off of track, off of my track, off of my journey? You know, because I'm trying to be successful. I'm trying to do, do the thing now. I'm trying to get out here and, 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 and bust my behind. You know, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to help, help provide for my family, things like that. And you trying to hook me. You're trying to bait me. You're trying to manipulate me. You're trying, you're trying to convince me to give you money. You're trying to convince me uh, uh, to take something precious out of my house, out of my possession to give to you. What is it that you, what, that, what, what you want from me? What, what are you doing? What, what, what is it? You know, you, you have to weigh out your options. You, you just can't, nowadays in this season, and nowadays just, just point blank, we cannot walk around here being deceived. We cannot walk around here allowing people to hook and bait us. We just can't. We just can't. We are intelligent individuals. 
Just because you're black does not have to, does not mean that you slow, retarded, ignorant, and unlearned. It does not mean that. But some of us behave that way because X, Y, Z. You fill in the blank. But you know how we do. You know, environmental sometimes. And sometimes the mindset, you know. But you don't have to portray that image. You don't have to be that way. Young man, uh, older man, mature man, you know, older woman, mature woman, young lady. You don't have to be that way. You don't have to allow anyone to bait you. Find out all the facts first. You know, just don't say yes just because somebody tells you something. Learn how to give them, uh, I'll check back with you. I'll get back to you. Uh, give, me, give me a few days. Let me sleep on it. <laughs> Let me sleep on that, okay? You know, because I, I just, I'm not thoroughly convinced of the thing, okay? Because my dollars matter. Black dollars matter, baby. My, my dollars matter. I just can't give you, you know what I'm saying? I, this is not uh, the food stamp place. I'm just not handing you over stuff, you know. So you, you, you got to, in this world, and we, we, we just need to learn to do better when it comes to this topic, you all. Because too many times we have been manipulated, we have been controlled by the masses, by the elites, by, by even our own people sometimes. Can, can trip you up and, and, and mess over you. You can't allow them to do it. We got to get wise about this thing. We got to wise up and take a stand. Wise up and say enough is enough. This is not going to happen anymore. Because I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to allow you to bait me. It's too much at stake for me. Because if I let you bait me, then I'm losing much. I'm losing a lot. Even, even people, when, when they want to be your friend, let me, let me go there. When they want to be your friend, they're trying to convince you that they're so nice, that, you know, they're they concerned about you. But at the same time, they're just baiting you. They're baiting you because half the time, folk be jealous of you. They want to know your business. They're baiting you. They're trying to tell you, oh, you know, you have such a beautiful family. Uh, you have such a, you know, your smile so beautiful. Oh, you wear the most beautiful clothes. You, do, you know, all that flattery. All of that flattery. And you know, you have to watch people with flattery words all the time. It's like they have a motive, an ulterior motive. And it's an always, sometimes it's not good. I, and I'm going to give you an example. I had someone that, that would flatter me all of the time, just tell me, you know, oh, you're so pretty, this, this, that, and the other. Oh, you have a beautiful family. But found out, you know, she, the person was trying to get close to me to find out my business. And you know, as smart, as smart as I am, I gave her just enough. Matter of fact, I baited her. <laughs> You're not going to get, I'm going to give you just enough. But I'm not going to give you those, those most innermost thoughts. I'm not going to give you, no, because I know that you'll have an advantage over me. You're going to try to use me uh, and use that against me. So I, I learned, I learned. And, and, and matter of fact, when people come into my space, I watch them. I observe. I listen to them first. Before I start opening up my mouth and talking, I listen to them. Found out the person was jealous of me. And everything I did, they did. And I'm sitting here like telling my husband, like, why are they copying me? Why are they copying me? What is it so fascinating that I'm doing that they're copying me? I'm not even doing anything special. The woman was jealous of me. The woman, the woman was jealous of my kids. The woman was just, just plain old jealous. And I'm like, OMG. It didn't take long to figure it out. And I just had to distance myself from this person. Because I said, there is, you never know what kind of trap she could have been trying to set up for me, my husband, my family. You just don't know. You just don't know. 
I, I have a lot of stories to tell. I mean, I've been in ministry. I've been a first lady. I have been there and have had women that were trying to get close to me to get close to my husband because they were jealous of what I had. I, I have some stories. I can sit here. Oh, my God. But I'm not going. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to keep it uh, clean. Not, not you know, not that I was gonna curse or anything. But I'm just saying, I'm gonna try to keep it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to be too long on here. But just try to give you some examples here. Watch your surroundings. Watch the people trying to connect with you. Try to figure out why are they in your circle? Why are they trying to uh, come into your life? And what has happened in your life that may have attracted them to you? And then they want to turn in turn, try to bait you. You know, sometimes people do that also to persuade you to buy something from them. To persuade you to partner with them. I've had that to happen too. Just recently, young lady, wanted me to uh, be a part of her business and and you know my husband was like you know look <laughs> they don't want anything but for you to sign up with you know for their with their business so that you can be under them and they can make money off of you they're not really trying to be your friend i said no 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 i'm, not, I'm gonna get i'm gonna give her you know some time to just you know prove herself i'm gonna, I'm gonna let her just talk and talk and talk you know, and just convince me of this wonderful product and what's happening and this, that, and the other. And, you know, I'm always skeptical about, you know, different products that's coming from different countries and things like that. And I'm like, you know, I wasn't too convinced because it was some stuff was coming from China. And I'm just, I'm like, no, I'm not too convinced with that. But anyway, let her talk. And I said, well, okay, I can try it out because I've tried out so many businesses, you all. It's ridiculous. And um, I've told her about all of the businesses and the, tier, the, the, the pyramid schemes and all of that. I said, I've been through all that. I know about that, blah, blah, blah. That did not convince her to not to pursue me. She was still trying to pursue me, wanted me to be a part of what she was doing. So I had decided, I said, okay, we're going to get it. You know, I'm going to start doing this with you. I'm, you know, just give me a little time. And so she was rushing me. She wanted me to, my next pay period, she wanted me to make the payment. And I was like, okay, uh, well, let me let me see how my funds are looking and we'll we'll go from there. So when the time came, I talked to my husband. He said, look, we can't, we can't afford it. Which I knew, which I knew. Uh, I was like, we can't afford that. You know, it, it, it it's not, it wouldn't even be in your best interest to do this at this time. You know, we got things going on right now, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you, you don't have to tell me twice. I, I just, you know, I, I always consult with my husband about matters. And I already, I've already made up in my mind that I really didn't really want to do it. And so I went back to her and I told her, I said, look, uh, I talked it over with my husband and we decided that, um, we're gonna hold off for right now. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on it because right now we we're trying to get some things done and we we just we just can't do it right now. How about old girl hadn't called me after that? And she said she was gonna stay in touch no matter what. Blah 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 blah. Trying to bait me, trying to hook me, trying to convince me. Oh, this is going to be a grand opportunity for you. You can make good money and, you know, you know, you, you may even be able to retire from your job, blah, 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 you know, to each his own. Everybody just, you know, you can go out there and start your own business and get some things rolling. Uh, that way you control it because you're, you're the business owner. But when you're working under people, it's just a totally other different type of situation. But anyway, hadn't heard back from them. Hadn't heard back from, and I was like, wow, this is how people are. They try to bait you. They try to bait you, and then when they can't convince you of a thing, whatever they're trying to convince you of, you won't hear from them anymore. So it makes you wonder, was, was the relationship aspect of it genuine? Were you really concerned about, about me wholeheartedly, really? You know, or were you just trying to hook me? Were you trying to 
lure me in, you know, what was your true motive? And that's where we were coming from. That, 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 she showed me her heart. And people will do that. People will do that when you tell them no. They'll, they'll, they'll start showing you who they really are. First it's a, you know, smile. Hey, yeah, girl. <laughs> no. Watch them change. Watch them change when you tell them no. Or watch them change when you tell them, not right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think over it. I'm going to think about it a little while. Give me a little time to think. Then you come back at them with the no. No, I, I, I can't do it. Oh, hmm. You won't hear from them. <laughs> Be a long time before you hear from them again. And if you do, they come in with something else. Because they want to try to bait you again. Or try to see if they can pull you in this time. It didn't work the first time. Because I didn't use the right type of bait. So I'm going to come back with another type bait. See if I can lure them in. Hey. You. <laughs> like I said. Don't don't give people what they want. You know what they want. You know what it is. You evaluate the whole matter. Figure it out from the the whole scheme of things. Don't be enticed by short-term gratification. Don't be enticed by something that's presented to you and you have to rush to make the decision. If you have to rush to make any decision, I don't care if it's dealing with finances, I don't care if it's dealing with somebody trying to sell you a product for your house, I don't care if it has anything to do with ministry, if it has anything to do with your job, or somebody trying to offer you a business opportunity. If they're rushing you, they baiting you, baby. If they rushing you to make a decision, they baiting you. Matter of fact, they're not concerned about what's going on on your end. All they're trying to do is feel a position. All they're trying to do is convince you to buy this, purchase this, do this. Don't have time for that stuff. Don't have time for it. Learn to not allow people to bait you because they will do it. They will do it. I have been around the block many of times. And I have learned. I have learned how to even approach them now. And I do it so smooth, you know, you know, no disrespect, none of that, none of that. Don't have to be disrespectful. I'm gonna tell you in a nice plain way. I'm not interested. <laughs> nice plain way. I don't have the funds for that. In a nice plain way. I can't fit that in my life. I can't fit it in my life. It's too much going on. I got too much going on. My hands are too much as it is. I don't need another extra thing to do. Don't you see I got all these children? Don't you see I have a, a full-time job? Don't you see that, that I'm, I'm dibbling in this and that and doing ministry and all this stuff? And you feel like I have time to do a business venture with you? And I already have a business going on and you haven't even tried to patronize my business you haven't even supported me with what i'm doing but you want me to throw what i have in my hands down to support you it's my baby down there so you you, you got to be beware 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 don't allow people to bait you make it up in your mind i will not allow people to bait me don't bait me don't bait me I am not the one. You fishing for somebody, it won't be me because I'm not going to take your bait. If you fishing for someone, it will not be me because I am not taking your bait. This is our Wild Wednesday, you all. Sorry it was long, but hey, I had to get it out. God bless you all. Have a great and awesome Wednesday. Bye-bye now.